Meta has put the tech industry on notice. It's seeking to reshape an AI landscape where it's currently a step behind its rivals. In the past couple months, the Facebook and WhatsApp owner has dug into its very deep pockets to bring in more than a dozen big name AI researchers and engineers, as New York University professor Robert Siemens explains. It's astronomical sums that uh, Meta is paying to collect uh, th this group of AI researchers. So th these are folks that not only have very a very specific AI skill set, but they also have managerial experience. And so as you can imagine, the sort of Venn diagram intersection of those two is really, really small. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman recently said Meta was offering his employees $100 million pay packages to switch sides. And this week, Meta announced that it had hired Roaming Peng, who led Apple's foundation models team. This follows Meta's hires of Scale AI's CEO Alexander Wang and ex-GitHub CEO Nat Friedman. In a place that's always looking for the next big thing, many here in Silicon Valley believe they've found it. Gene Munster, a partner at Deepwater Asset Management, says the recent advances in AI technology are likely just the beginning. There are competent companies with vast resources that still believe we are early in AI, number one. And number two is that AI is going to be more transformational than what I think most people believe. That's led to an all-out sprint for talent from tech's biggest firms. Meta's moves are part of what looks like an arms race, with companies like OpenAI, Microsoft, and Google all recruiting and spending heavily. But while the technology is impressive, monetizing it is still a work in progress. You look at OpenAI, you look at Anthropic, uh, they are not profitable companies. So it's not, it's not entirely clear how quickly Meta will be able to take this investment in these AI scientists and then be able to turn around and say, you know, sort of point to additional profits. However, many experts believe these eye-popping salaries and investments will ultimately pay off and that AI will fundamentally reshape just about everything, creating the same sort of societal and economic impact of developments like electricity or the internet. The vast majority of where the spending is gonna come is from businesses, and, and essentially countries sovereign in, in terms of using uh, these models to power things uh, much, much more aggressively. Artificial intelligence is increasingly viewed as not only a competition between tech firms, but as a competition between countries with the US and China in the lead. Many of Meta's recent high profile hires are originally from China people who came to the U.S. for their graduate studies and stayed because of the career opportunities here. With the Chinese AI ecosystem also rapidly advancing and the success of companies like DeepSeek, China would like to see some of that top AI talent return there as well. Iris Betzer, CNA, Menlo Park, California.